In this video, we're going to review the style library. When you bring up the style library, you'll notice a few different uh, elements to the screen. The first is a plus button here on the left. This will allow you to add additional folders uh, to your style library. So with the style library, you can create as many styles as you like for your own unique needs, save them on your file system, and have them available for future projects or existing projects. The next button is just a refresh button, so once you change your underlying file structure, you can click this and it will refresh the uh, directory tree accordingly. Next we have a search bar, and here is an e easy way if you have a bunch of different styles to identify the ones you want. So for example, if I wanted to look for a style for parks, I could do this and you can see I've got uh, three different um, results returned. One, looks like to be an area style that would color the park uh, you know a green and then some uh, point styles for various icons such as no parking or a park with a little tree by default the GIS editor comes with uh, a lot of pre-built styles already and you can add to these styles or uh, modify them in any way you see possible uh, we've built this uh, pre-built styles into four different folders for areas labels lines and point styles so areas are great uh, um, to use when you're dealing with your polygon based uh, layers and we have ones for countries, buildings, um, golf courses, parks, water, etc. So these can be a great uh, resource if you want to quickly style your map. The next folder is label styles and in here we've got a wide variety of different styles using uh, some fonts such as Arial. Uh, we also have ones with Halo and then we also have some uh, pre-built um, label styles that are using road signs. So for example, if you want to use a road sign like this and label the highway number on there, this is a good resource for that. The next folder is line styles, and we have uh, common line styles for like railways, rivers, trails, etc. And then for roads, uh, we've broken these out into four different folders from highways down to minor roads. And if you go into here, you'll notice that there are uh, um, many different styles depending upon the level of detail. So for example, if you're zoomed way out on the map, you would want to use a low detail style. But if you're zoomed way into, you know, like a house level, you may want a real thick line to, uh, to show your road. And so these are all built up accordingly for the different levels of detail. And you can associate that for the given scales and zoom levels you like. And that's the same for both local roads, major roads, and minor roads. The last folder is point styles. And we've just created a variety of point styles that you can use. Some of these are based off of our custom point style. Others are based off of our font point style and then just the regular point style. So as you can see, it's just a good uh, variety of different points of interest or um, like in this case, a construction worker icon as well. And again, you can add and save to the style library. Um, your own styles so you can build up you know your own styles to be used again and again for those common uh, types of rendering I hope this video has been helpful again if you have any questions feel free to ask them on our discussion forums or uh, contact us directly thank you